Hello everyone and welcome! In this video I've teamed up with Monroe Shocks and Struts and we're going to be learning about how to tell if your shocks are worn out. So the first thing we'll be discussing is visual checks, things you can physically look at and determine whether or not your shock absorbers are worn out. So one of the first and most obvious things is if you're looking at the shock absorber, if there are any fluid leaks coming from it. So fluid leaks means that that fluid that's within the shock absorber can no longer be as useful since there's not as much of it that's going to pass through that piston and that's what's doing all the dampening. So obviously it's not going to work as well. Now if you have a dented or damaged shock or shock body as well as damaged mounts and bushings, those are some other things you're going to want to look for to determine whether or not you would need to replace your strut. Now checking out your tires, one thing you can look for is cupped tires and the reason this would occur with a failed shock is that the failed shock would allow for uneven pressure of the tire as it oscillates up and down and kind of has a little bit of a bounce to it and that uneven pressure will result in uneven wear on the tire itself and then you'll see this as a cupped tire and so you may know that you need to replace the shock absorber. So this is one of the shock absorbers out of my Acura Integra, which I pulled out when it had about 125,000 miles on it. And actually it looks to be in pretty good shape. There's no dents or dings, uh, no visible damage to the body of this shock. And there also aren't any fluid leaks, so it looks to be in pretty good condition. You know, this seal up on the top is kind of coming off, um, but that's there to prevent any metal on metal contact between the shock tower and this upper mount. So overall, it looks to be in decent shape, even though it has so many miles on it. But you know, it is obviously something worth checking out. Now, there are some other things you can do where you can check by feel to determine whether or not the shocks are worn out. Uh, one thing, for example, if you go over a pothole or over a speed bump and your car continues to bounce, obviously your shock absorber isn't dampening out that vibration, and so you may have a damaged shock. Also, significant body roll under light turning or lane changing. You shouldn't have too much body roll uh, under light turning or lane changing, and that could be a result of a worn shock. Also excessive nosedive, same kind of thing like body roll, excessive nosedive could result if your front or rear shocks were kind of worn out and then you just had the whole car kind of shift forward more. And then finally just a harsh or bumpy ride and poor steering response. These can all be associated with your shock absorbers not exactly working properly. Now, if you don't feel comfortable inspecting your shock absorbers yourself, obviously you could always have a professional look at it. And Monroe thinks it's a good idea to have these looked at after you've got about 50,000 miles on your car. So why should you be concerned with your shock absorbers and why should you replace them if they've worn out? Well, Monroe has something that they call the safety triangle. And basically this comes down to steering, stopping, and stability. Three things that can be adversely affected by having uh, worn shocks. And so with steering, you know, if you have excessive body roll, that's gonna alter your steering alignment and geometry. And so you could lose uh, some steering responsiveness as well as steering capability. And that wouldn't obviously be ideal. Now for stopping, if you do have worn shocks, you can have additional weight transfer to the front and that could put more loading on your front tires and front brakes and result in an increased stopping distance. Finally, stability, as if you have worn shocks, you're gonna have increased roll, sway, and bounce. And this is obviously gonna affect how well you can control the vehicle, so adversely affecting your stability. Some other things to keep in mind, passenger comfort, tire wear, like I was mentioning previously with the uneven pressure from a oscillating tire, dynamic wheel alignment, so how your wheel is aligned with you know, different body roll and things like that. And if you have more body roll than you normally would, then it's gonna kind of get out of that alignment. Brake life and the durability of the chassis parts if there are other things that are taking the load other than the shock because it's worn out. So feel free to check out the related links in the video description. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those below. Thanks for watching.